Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Tuesday, March 10th, 2009. Well, we're seeing a monstrous rally and short squeeze on Wall Street today, and in all fairness, it was long overdue. We're going to discuss about some of the pattern and price and technical analysis, trend line analysis that we can do that help, helps predict this move in the market. What were we seeing yesterday? We talked about this in last night's video to our elite subscribers, our premium subscribers at InTheMoneyStocks.com in the Research Center to kind of give them a sense about what was a possibility of happening. Ultimately, it did end up happening. And the interesting thing is, some of the things I mentioned in yesterday's video happened beautifully. I talked yesterday in the video about the possibility of the uptick rule being pushed back in and that causing a squeeze in the markets. We talked about a possible in-spirit of bull flag on the 60-minute SPY chart that was signaling something. We talked about how yesterday's move in the market here, how we had a nice run-up, and yesterday's move from 10.30 in the morning all the way back down never took out the low of the day from the Friday. And that's a very key thing as well that I liked in this market. So there's a bunch of little factors here in the market that we're all pointing to a possibility, including me mentioning yesterday and the day before in the chat room in the videos that the uptick rule would most likely be brought back and that announcement could cause a squeeze in the financials. Financials are ripping higher today and we are seeing the markets up huge, absolutely huge move in the markets today. Right now the Dow up about 300 or 290, about 4.5%. The NASDAQ higher by 74 points, or almost 6%, and the S&P up about 35.5 points, or 5.5%. Just a tremendous move, guys. And I really want to, again, go over those key things that we were looking at. And again, our premium subscribers get it the night before. It's basically like getting your newspaper the night before and knowing exactly what's going to happen tomorrow, getting today's newspaper yesterday, basically. And that's what we try to do for our subscribers using techniques that are very, uh, very well or very non-used in Wall Street. And because they're non-used, they're going to work 10 times better. So in any case, folks, this is what we see today, okay? You can see the market gapping higher. And again, this morning, what happened? Citigroup comes out, and Vikram Pandit basically says, for the first quarter, we've had the most profitable quarter in two years, or the best quarter. We are, we're running profitably for the first quarter here of 2009. The market takes that. The financials start to rip. Bernanke talks around 9.30 in the morning or so, 9 o'clock, 9.30. The markets really pause on that. As soon as he's done, the market opens, and the squeeze begins. And so far, they haven't. Look at this. No pullbacks, no real pullbacks. Yeah, you had little green, red candles along the way, but virtually nothing significant as the market is really putting it to the shorts for the first time basically uh, since February 9th was the high. We, I don't think we've had two back-to-back -back updates, and remember, folks, that hasn't happened yet, so that's a big thing as well. We'll cover that in tonight's video, though, and go over why that's significant and what that means. Now, let's draw our trend lines, folks, because when it all comes down to it, we need to know where this market's going to top out. How do we know the market was going here before pausing and consolidating, then here, and so forth? So let's start. A lot of these key trend lines come all the way back, and I'm going to start that out, folks, all right? We're going to draw on a bunch of trend lines and see where they come. First of all, what's important is you got to get your gap window your gap fill lines in and starting over here this was a key line we used so let's put that one in then you also want to have gap fill right up here in as well and we'll have that one on our chart and let's con connect these over and then we'll make all the other ones as well all right so that's really my goal today is kind of to show you guys various points in this market where it's important to note that you're gonna go and again gap window gap fill you have to understand those levels are extremely key in this market all right and why, by showing you this, what I really want to show you is this first push up, where do you pause and where do you hit? Yup, on gap window resistance. Your next candle goes above, but it falls back down to close right here on that gap window. Then on the next candle, you break through and you start to rally even more so. All right, and that's what we want to follow again. We want to see exactly where this candle goes to and where the market has faltered and consolidated. So again, just a tremendous day, and again, right around midday, right before 12 o'clock, Barney Frank comes out and basically says, um, guys, the market, you know, we're going to probably within a month have the uptick rule back, the market rips higher. So here you can see again, guys, I just connected this line. No, it's, it's no coincidence that the market couldn't get above this level, really consolidated right here 
by using your gap fill in your charts. You got to know your gaps. You got to know your bear flags, your bull flags, your pattern analysis, your price, your trend line analysis. It's all stuff that, yes, it's not as easy as punching a computer in and having it do it for you. I will be the first one to say that, but you know what? Making money is not always easy, and those, those people out there that think it's as easy as just looking at stochastics or RSI are the ones that end up losing. So that's the key, guys. You got to put effort into it. We're here to teach you. We're here giving you the knowledge. We're doing it easy. That's why you have to join the research center, okay? Now, again, the market moves up here. There's a bunch of other trend lines you want to use, all right? First of all, let's take the low here going back to last Thursday. Um, excuse me, last Friday. So you take the low really on this market, and you bring it right up to the bottom of these points, and look at this, all right? So you see this angled pattern as you're bear flagging it, and you see the lows here, all right? The low here and the low here before you break down on this bear flag, take your low and connect it right underneath those lows and look at what you get. You get top and then top again up here. And that's telling you there's a big resistance area. Now, in technical sense, this is still a bullish flag pattern. So be aware of that. It's an in-spirit of bull flag pattern still in this market, although this is a longer-term bull flag. This from here is a longer-term bull flag pattern in the intraday. This minor pattern is actually a bearish. And I know that seems complicated. That's why it takes time to learn this stuff. But believe it or not, you have a mini bearish with a longer term bullish pattern. So you could actually dip to the 20, touch the 20, and then you want to look for the pattern to whether or not to develop here and move back higher off the 20. And that's what we'll be looking for this afternoon. Should that 20 break, you're going to have decent support right here. And let me do that a little straighter here, guys. There's just decent support, decent support, and so forth down. And this, this line would come back into play as well. You just extend that same line. So you have 20 moving average support, then this support, 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 really support 1, S1, S2, S3, S4, and then ultimately wherever these come, these will be moving up. That'll be where your support lines are. On the upside, double top will be extremely big support here. The, this level right up here is still a good support, uh, resistant line, excuse me. This would be R1 right here. And why? Well, because that's that gap fill area. Gap fill is still very important here as resistance. R2 is right up here. This level is R2, which will be the high of the day. All right, now there's a bunch of other levels here today, today guys, and you can even see. Look at this, this consolidation pattern again off this move down. All right, see this move? Well, what you're going to do here again, take that line. Notice how it's parallel. All right, parallel lines. And sure enough, you just take that angle. You can see how the angles are playing out again. And again, you have a hit, you know, hit. And then all of a sudden you're hitting and breaking lower. So that's also telling me a little bit of a bearish mini flag here with a possibility of the 20 in the near term getting hit. All right. Now, whether or not it breaks that, we'll have to watch. That'll be support, though. No doubt it will be support. Just won't be a super heavy support there. All right. Again, this longer term flag pattern here off of this move up. And again, it's getting a little jumbled here. But this move up, you have this consolidation pattern. That's actually bullish. So mini bearish. And you can see the market down ticking off the mini bearish flag with a longer term bullish pattern involved. And again, I know it seems a little complicated to those of you that are checking it out, but this is stuff you have to learn. And again, we can teach you it all. We're educational. That's what our primary goal is, to educate the public, to avoid the Wall Street hype. Because let's be honest, you know, you listen to the media, you listen to those on TV, you're going to end up going the opposite of the way you're supposed to go. Contrarian thinking is key in this market. It so is, guys. Absolutely is. All right, let's go to the 60-minute chart as we finish this video up. And one thing I'm liking, there's a couple different things on the 60-minute. This is what we pointed out, folks. Um, this is what we pointed out yesterday in the video to our premium subscribers to be ready for this pattern and then this in spirit of bull flag, all right? And it's a key flag pattern right underneath the 20 and look how it comes to fruition. Our targets for today were $70 on the SPY, which was hit initially right on the open or a little after the open, and then 70, just under 72 was our secondary target, which was gap fill. Right here was our secondary target and you can see how that level perfectly gap fill from this area right over here. Not only that, but you have an interesting pattern developing here on the 60, which could be a bearish, uh, uh, excuse me, it could be a bullish W, V pattern. W, V, or here's your W, your V would be a pullback and then a possible move higher. Now, it's not guaranteed to be forming. It's still in preliminary stages. But again, this is something we'll know more about tonight in the Research Center video and try to bring to you guys so we can exactly give you what's, what would be the pullback on the V if it does form, how low would it go off of this, where would the target be if the V pattern develops and the WV pattern breaks out, and so forth. All that stuff you'd want to know and be in, in really in tune with. Now, in all fairness, let's not get too excited. Yes, it's a great move up. I'm all for the move up. I, I obviously, I, we thought there was a good possibility this would be coming, 
But again, don't get too excited. Let's see if we, this market can put more than one back-to-back -back day positive in it. We'll go over that this afternoon or this tonight in the video, in the daily market report, in our research reports, and so forth. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.